What did you think of the show? What did you <laughs> think? <laughs> Good morning, you lovely lot. Right. In the blogger lounge, just uh, getting ready for the day. Day two of the Dusseldorf Caravan Salon. Salute. Salon. I always go with one, then I back it out, and then I go with the other one halfway through. Um, <laughs> Never good. Uh, I will never get the hang of this uh, learning new terms and new languages. That's just me, so deal with it. <laughs> yes, it was quite a busy day running around looking at God knows what and looking at some awesome motorhomes, some crazy style motorhomes, uh, up to two million euros. I saw some pretty cool designs uh, of layouts, uh, especially that one where the shower pulled up. That was that was in insane. It really was. But no, I'm going to continue looking around today, get another probably three or four hauls cracked off the list, and then, uh, yeah, then come back tomorrow, last day, run round and uh, get a plane home. Right, in hall nine, first hall of the day, and it is basically hobbies everywhere. I was looking at a hobby, it was the two models I was looking at, the hobby or the Delphin. I quite like the look of the hobbies, they've got quite a weird shape on the back, some of them. Look at all these. I've done a few recent videos about layouts. I didn't actually have a motorhome on hand to show of a uh, bunk bed situation. But there's uh, a clear bunk bed situation, which is brilliant if you've got kids and you want to you know, have the option of that. So that's at the end, and I believe there's storage underneath the uh, bottom bunk. And you've got the toilet, uh, toilet shower here. This is on a hobby, and you've got the full uh, lounge up the front. This is a really compact motorhome. It's really, I mean, it's got a nice size kitchen, not huge. You've got your fridge, you've got your, your toilet, shower, and then you spin round and you've got your lounge, then you've got a drop down bed there, drop down double. So that will come down with the cupboards. You can see the rails on the wall, that's where they'll come down to. So that will take the lounge area away once you're um, using that. But it's a very good, for a family of four, a real good option to have beds of their own and uh, double for yourself. So that model that I've just shown you with the bunk beds and the double over the uh, lounge area is uh, this model here, the uh, Hobby Optimum Ontour T65 HKM, 81,000 euros. But that, I'm not, I'm not too interested in that or um, anything about that. It's just, what I wanted to show you was that it is the the double bed, uh, the bunk bed option. You've still got a garage, so you could get quite a lot of your out, outdoor gear in there. Um, and it says you've got a weight limit of half a ton, which is good good amount of weight limit, good amount of stuff that you can fit in there. And like I say, you, this is your, your bunk bed situation, which is really good. And it was a really compact uh, motorhome. And I don't believe it's too long. It's probably, what, six meters? Six, uh, no, seven meters, seven meter motorhome. So it's really not bad at all. I've got to commend the manufacturers and the, and the, the um, yeah, it is the manufacturers, the brands that are on show here. They do put some effort into their, um, to their staging. The, they really do. The stands are yeah. incredible. And the show, it, like the whole thing, everything yeah. is so well thought out. Yeah. But yeah, they go all out. I mean, the seashells, have <laughs> yeah, seen this? I know, starfish and yeah, everything. It's, like... it's a proper, I mean, you were just saying it's an Instagrammer's dream because oh. that really is. All this, like the logs, the, oh, look, the little beach sign, yeah. brilliant. Now moved into Hall 10 and this is Adria. I mean, look at that, that's the supersonic. And I mean, that is a beast on wheels, that is. Um, it really is based on the Merc. 8.9 meters. It really is huge. So this uh, Adria Twin is 87,000 euros. This one is uh, 80, 88. So 90 grand, 90,000 euros. Now, to put that into perspective to what we saw yesterday, 2 million euros. You could have 20 of these. 20 of them and still have change right so now we're into the euro euro euromobile i think i'm saying that right 
Now they're not as popular in the UK and I did look at a few because they've got a lot of, they do tend to have double floors. Now I've got a theory of why they're not as popular. My theory is because we've got Playmobil. <laughs> That's my theory because we think they're toys. We can we we associate it with kids' toys. I mean, yeah, yeah I can you know, see it, yeah. that's my theory. I, I don't know if I'm right, but look at that's yeah. a beast. That look at that. Jesus. One thing I want to put in mind is a. Uh, I've seen the uh, Fiamma do a uh, racking system, which I want to look at, which you can put there, and then it like you un you screw it one way, and then it will tighten to the roof and to the floor and then you make the most of the full height of the garage so this is a uh, really good demonstration obviously this is a lot newer system than mine but this is what I've got in mind the Audi wet central heating so this is in my wardrobe and it's basically like um, like antifreeze the fluids like antifreeze so it can't freeze and then these are all the radiators all around my motorhome I've got one either side of my bed I've got one either behind all the sofas um, one in the middle of the motorhome, uh, on the back wall of the kitchen, and then I've got one under the driver's seat and the passenger seat. So you've got your control panel, minor dials, like I say, this is a lot newer system. But the heat that comes out of it, once it gets going, it takes a little longer than gas heating, um, like gas blown air, hot, hot blown air. But yeah, it is, once it's there, it is hot as, the desert it really is now that is definitely a new way of showing a motorhome they cut the whole sidewalk off and you can just literally see in um they've even got a mannequin in uh, in the shower it's, it's brilliant they just come across these uh like they're like pods but they're pods with a bit of a twist so you've got the pull out kitchen um and as you can see down here it extends out so the the pod isn't that long as you can see but then when you pull it out and it extends, makes it really long for your bed. So you don't compromise on your bed space. So then you've still got a little lounge area, living area. Um, all your mechanics are in there, but you've got it really pulled out. So you've still got your bed. It's a pretty cool, cool idea, isn't it? Never heard of Deadal RV. I don't know if that's Chinese or Japanese, but looks pretty unique on an Iveco base, but it's got a slide out. Right, this is the dead all. Oh, Jesus. It's got, a, it's got a washing machine. Oh my God. With the slide out, this is well big space. You've got a massive bed up here, which is awesome. You've got speakers everywhere. The bed is all leather lined. That looks so cool. You got Max fan in the roof. Ma Max fan, you got a microwave there. You got a massive toilet. Oh no, look! Porcelain, it's a masturator. No, but look, it's, a, it's got all the it's buttons. A, yeah, yeah, it's because it's a porcelain one. It's a proper. <laughs> look at this thing. This is off the chain. Let's see what we can see on the roof. Hopefully you are seeing all the solar up there and aircon and a max fan. At the moment they're only in China um, and they couldn't really give us a price anyway because they got extortionate tax on them. Yeah, um, but they're going to be coming to Europe in two years. So yeah, going to be, uh, I might drop them an email, see if they can, see if they keep me in mind for a test driver, one of them. These are exactly what we need in the UK. Just that there. Just that. That there is fresh water, um, grey waste and uh, WC. So yeah. you can get rid of your cassette, you can get fresh water, get rid of your grey waste and that's all it needs. Uh, look at the footprint. The footprint is nothing, it's the, it's the size of a bin. They don't ask for much. No, really, I mean, it's just that <laughs> and that. <laughs> look at this. So just walking around, we're going to, what hall are we going to now? Uh, I think we're going to 11. Yeah, 11. Hall 11 over there. Um, but look at the outside area. So you've got, you know, you've got hot dog stands, you've got ice cream stands, there's burger vans over there. There's all the outside seating. It's absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm uh, in Hall 11, and this is 
a, a horn. First and foremost, that colour. Mm, I mean, it might be a bit of a debate in the comments, but I know white gets dirty, but that's that's unique. Now he's definitely unique. Like I said, this show's got everything. We are well and truly in the uh, pod area right now. What is that? <laughs> Pods and 4x4 stuff everywhere. We're in the apocalypse pod. Yeah, area. look at this one. This one's like ready to go through through wars. Look at this one. These are tiny, but they are... I mean, they seem to be a real big popular thing over here. This one's got a rooftop tent on it. I've never seen anything like this. I'm no real fan of the V-dubs or anything like that. But the, this just looks incredible. Proper modified to an inch of its life, isn't it? Frankenstein's uh, yeah. there. What have we stumbled across here? <laughs> Look at this matching colour. That is uh, pretty awesome. This looks amazing. I mean, it's proper pimped and tricked. I mean, that dashboard is a little bit of yellow. It looks... It looks mental. I don't want to fall out. I don't. <laughs> don't push me. Look at this. Very cool, very cool motorhome. So we've got loads of camper vans in hall 12. Um, <laughs> and then you've got that. What is that? <laughs> it's got a hammock up there. <laughs> this is the behemoth I'm going to look up in the back. Look at that. I still love the ceiling. The ceiling's freaking great. Do you know, it'd be a real pain in the arse if you've got something in that bag and you think, oh, now I need to get all the way up there to get that out. And then if you come all the way down and you forget something else, you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, just... Them stairs, I'd break them, 100%. They're not Darren tested. People are walking around with these pool noodles and they've been branded as deaf left pool noodles. Now, we've got a little magpie here, yeah, that likes to, likes to hoard stuff. She's got about a 1,000 pens in her bag and more bags in a bag than, I don't know who, collects that many bags and now she's seeing everyone with pool noodles and we want one now we she wants a pool noodle now we flew in hand luggage only can you imagine walking up to check and go can you check that please and they're like what a pool noodle really <laughs> anyone got any bags almost ended the show we've had a real good look round but now I thought I'd just grab something to eat oh look at that look at that menu one is uh freaking Dell and chips so lots of mayonnaise from the flying Dutchman Oh yes, oh, look at that. Good morning everyone. All right, it is Wednesday morning, the last, well, yeah, the last day in uh, Germany. Just uh, getting the bags ready. Here we go. Um, it's eight o'clock. Gonna go down for breakfast now. And breakfast down there though, is quite savage, I've got to say. Um, <laughs> it's usually quite busy and quite a full on event. Um, but yeah, gonna go down. I'm in my, in my scruffs, because um, I know I'll probably get food down me, so I always wear the t-shirt I arrived in down to breakfast. Good tip. All right, so this is breakfast. Not full English breakfast like I was thinking. It's a continental. I will say this is pretty cool. You can actually watch your pancakes cook and then come out. All right, that is it. I'm all packed up, ready to leave the hotel. Check out, grab an Uber, straight to the show, and have a last little run around, see what we can see, and then head to the airport. Third and final day in Germany at the Caravan Salon. We're in Hall 14, and it looks like a lot of, loads and loads of little bits and bobs. So you've got the Truma, you've got Thetford Stand, you've got Alco, you've got, you know, uh, I always say that wrong, uh, Tule. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tule. <laughs> um, so you've got, you got bits and bobs of everything in here. So yeah, we're gonna have a little look around, see what's what. We've got until about half three, four, and then we're gonna have to head off to the airport. All right, just got to the EcoFlow stand. You guys know how much I love uh, all my EcoFlow uh, gadgets and gizmos and power banks. Oh, look, there's the actual, uh, that's the lawnmower. Oh, stop it. <laughs> that is the lawnmower, the blade. That I'd actually love that. You get one. Yeah, and then when I go to campsites, I can mow my own little area <laughs> around my motorhome. 
So that's the, the dual fuel and that, that's the dual fuel and that's the uh, Delta Pro. I believe ADS has got that one. Um, so that one can, down that bottom port down there, can have the, um, an EV port, uh, EV socket straight in. That looks cool. That is proper wrapped. That looks brilliant. Whoa, look at that. That looks so cool. Never seen anything like that. As you can see, like the inside, it's got a fixed bed at the back, um, little lounge area, swivel seats, and loads of cupboards. But that looks really good. Just over on the Dometic stand, and I gotta be honest, I didn't know Dometic done awnings. Did any of you guys? I don't know if I just missed that one completely, but I didn't know Dometic done uh, awnings. Coolers are real, the big thing now. Um, and they really are coming on leaps and bounds. It's like I said in the video when uh, EcoFlow done their fridge, um, their fridge freezer with the ice unit. It's the first of its kind, um, battery powered. Uh, so, you know, it wasn't everyone's cup of tea, granted, and it was expensive, again, granted. Um, but it's the, it's, it's the, the start of the race, that's what I see it as. A Dometic ID buzz. Oh yes. I'm quite impressed how many people are jumping on the buzz now. Like, yeah, I mean, there is like, there is quite a few of them. To it. Yeah. So I think it's helping to show the future of electric yeah. doesn't mean you're going to give up. No, 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 no. Right, just into hall 15 now, and straight away we come across another ID buzz. And uh, yeah, it's got a single bed layout, nice little electric um, electric hob. Looks really cool, doesn't it? It does seem though a lot of uh, manufacturers are jumping on the ID buzz and they're uh, you know, ma uh, modifying them and tricking them out and you know, making different layouts, which is good. Which is, again, it goes back to that whole little chat I just said about innovation and pushing the market forward and new products and they all start fighting against each other to be the best. So then that only brings us new stuff, which is hopefully improved constantly and also makes them have a price war because they all want to be the best and the cheapest because they all want the business. So it's all good for us, all good for us. Look how filthy that is. That's like mine on a general weekday, that is. I don't wash mine either. Could you imagine John's face if I like, draw it like someone had drawn it? Oh, he, he, would, he would absolutely melt. <laughs> if, yeah, <laughs> if you clean me, you scratched it. Look at this vehicle and then if you look over here, you got uh, another one with a rooftop, a rooftop hammock. Uh, part of me would really like to see me in that hammock and see them metal struts really stretch and really give them a go. Uh, uh, like I say, they do love these kind of vehicles over here. Right, hall 16, and this is the Malibu area. These are these are some nice vans. They are, it's a, you know part of Cafargo, and you guys know I do love the uh, Cafargo uh, Sea Line Chic. I saw that at the NEC last year and the year before, I think, and it really is a beautiful, beautiful motorhome. Oh, they've got a Malibu Teddy, and that is a sweet Malibu hat. Oh, look, Malibu hat, Malibu, they got a Malibu umbrella. Oh, I love the, I love the, uh, the merch that these, these dealers are doing. It's brilliant. There we go, there's the Chic Sea Line. Ah, oh, they are beautiful. Now they've got them on A-Class and they've got them on um, Coach Bill, which I think I liked uh, the Coach Bill. I had a look at the Coach Bill one, but they've got so much storage. I absolutely love them. They've um, got a nice big garage. They've got nice, just a real all round nice, nice layout inside. Look at that. Look how much, <laughs> you just look at how much you could get under there. Unreal. <laughs> Way out of my price range. Way out of my price range. But, you know, never knowing. <laughs> In a good, you know, Jesus, look, I just keep getting sidetracked by the underfloor storage. But yeah, you never know. In uh, when these are 10, 15 years old, I might be able to pick one up and have one. 
Cafago, they're a brilliant brand. They really are. They're, they're well-built motorhomes. I mean, I'm, that's just what I'm going. I'm just going on what I've heard of the industry and how, what I know of them. Um, oh, look at that tag axle one. Now that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's an XL, Chic Sea line XL. Oh, I've got to have a little look at that. What is that, £190,000, I think? Oh, yeah. I, I know there's extra lights in the roof through the sky vents. And a drop-down bed at the front, which is brilliant. For the size of the van, it is quite a small lounge area. It's an island bed, this one. I probably personally wouldn't, wouldn't have an... Ooh. I personally wouldn't have an island bed. I would have, um, you know, probably uh, transverse or the two, the two um, twins. <sighs> that one's a big garage, but this one, oh my God, that is, <laughs> it's just unreal. This is it, oh, look at this. This is something else. This lounge is, yes, yeah, spot on. Oh my God. I love the little cubby holes under the thing, under the cupboards. Ooh, this is swish. I think this is like 250,000 euros. Oh my, this is just, oh, look at that. I mean, I don't have wine, I don't drink wine, but yes, this is just something else. Oh, you into a whole area for your for your bathroom and that. I mean, this is a bit big, um, even for for me. But this is swish. This is really swish. A forty-inch TV there, lovely. Nice control panels. Beautiful fridge. Oh look, come on. Oh yes, <laughs> nice little pantry there. <laughs> so. It is the C, uh, the Chic E line, two hundred and forty thousand euros. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I haven't got that, but hey, into hall seventeen now, and I've come across the Frankia stand. I've, uh, I know um, Shane; he works a lot with Frankia's at um, SMC. Uh, so I've been around Frankie's a lot and I've uh, visited them in the uh, NEC quite a lot. They are some really nice motorhomes, don't get me wrong. I mean, that's a, that's a beast right there. They are really high-end quality. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of, these are, some of these look awesome. But, I mean, well out of my league, well out of my league. You know, they are proper pipe dreams. Beautiful, beautiful motorhomes. So I've pretty much finished the show now. I've had a good walk around. I mean, I could be here for days upon days upon days. There's so much to see. But I've had a good, a good crack at it, to be fair. Um, but I'll come back to Hall 6, because I want to get, I want to get my personal hat. So, uh, I'm going <laughs> to have a little look, see what they got. If, um, if we've got anything else, oh, it takes my fancy. But that person I he's really quite nice. I like that. There we go. Got myself a nice person of hat. <laughs> and goes with my person of bag. Ooh. Yep, quite like that. Probably gonna get mocked and trolled in the comments, but hey ho, I'll roll with it. Bring it on, bring it on. I saw this on day one, the end of day one, uh, the bacon bomb burger. <laughs> it looks pretty, I mean, it just sounds amazing, <laughs> bacon bomb burger. So, right, I'm gonna grab one of these and then find somewhere to uh, get undercover because it's still spitting a bit and uh, see what it's like. I don't know what sauce that is or, or what, but it looks pretty good. That was 15 euros, 15 euros, so. It's got cheese in it. Um, they had loads of cabbage or sa uh, salad, so I was like, nah, nah. All right, let's give this a go, shall we? Look at this. That cheese is really quite strong. It's like a gr gruyere. I can never say the one. Gruyere. 
really quite a strong cheese. Um, really nice burger. Um, it's got a lot going on, a lot of flavours going on, like marinara sauce. This is like a garlicky kind of mayonnaise kind of sauce. You've got the cheese, <laughs> and then you've got this uh, lump of pork uh, bacon. And this nice button really is a nice combination. I'm not sure it's 15 euros nice. To be fair, I think I was done there. But hey, it's a good burger. We have left the show. We're now at the airport, ready to just get through passport control. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what do you think of the show? What did you <laughs> think? <laughs> we'll pause from a brief interlude. <laughs> what did you think of the show? <laughs> Please, no cameras. <laughs> I it was brilliant. I really yeah. enjoyed it. It was and cool, wasn't it? It was so good. I loved it. We saw so much more than I was expecting, uh, than I was expecting to see. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I didn't know what I was expecting, but loads of like, new stuff, different stuff. And I love, love, love seeing components from manufacturers. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, tables and windows. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it's, a, it's a more of a... It's, it's got all the actual manufacturers there more than just like uh, resellers yeah um it's so like, yeah it's not just dealers it's like big like yeah actual big manufacturers actual manufacturers really yeah it's, it. just their stands are amazingly built um but right we'll get through these lines and then uh, get through to departures is it cream first or jam first that is the question here liam eat a stone eat a stone you can't beat a nice little bag of cube cheese Walking down the street in Cheddar. 